In this video, I'll be showing you a trick with screencasting in Linux, and that is to get the borderless webcam effect. So there's a couple of different methods I've used. The first is that I record the footage of me speaking in the webcam separately to recording whatever else is going on in the video. And it means I can do something like this. I go, look, no hands, and the program opens. So that's mainly what I use in my distro reviews. The other thing that I've done, and this is on a gaming review, which I used in the Amnesia Machine for Pigs gaming reviews I did, I record the footage of the webcam and I record the footage of the game at the same time. Now, the latter option is a bit more processor intensive because you're taking two video streams and recording them to the same hard drive, so you need a bit of a hefty CPU and a quick hard drive. But it also takes time on video editing because you've got to merge and synchronize the streams properly. The first option of me recording the two streams and nothing in particular really happening in the background that requires absolute synchronization is the easier one. Because then you just vaguely go, oh yeah, overlay the clip in KDM Live, and yeah, that's kind of done. Well, how to do the second option? Well, I can do that with GUVC video. So this is the program that's actually showing me in the corner of the screen. It has the option on here to capture video. So I just uh, select that. So I've got pulse audio, the microphone I'm using, sample rate and channels. The video, there's a choice there. I generally record in 640 by 480. So that's it, I just do capture capture video and then merge them all later. That wasn't my preferred option. I used to use FFmpeg. This was the command that I used to use. I'll put a copy of that in the video in case you might find that one useful. Just because I get a better audio rate on here. So set that at 256k. A GVC view is a bit lower than that. But yeah, the difficulty now is that FFmpeg is not included in Ubuntu 14.04 and libav just does not do the job. It's not a replacement. Don't know why they ever did that, it's really annoying. But let's show you the trick on merging the tracks together in Cadian Live. So here's one I prepared earlier. So I've got a clip of me doing just the talk at the beginning, and then I've got a clip of the main distro review. So at the beginning of the video, I have a composite effect. So to get the composite effect, what you do is you select a video clip, and you go right click, add transition, and then select composite. Now composite is quite a powerful effect. Let's use this example here, and this is of the video portion that you've just watched. So I can just move along a little bit on the timeline, select the composite effect, choose this little add keyframe button, the plus, and I could put something like opacity 100 here. Go back to the beginning of the composite effect, go opacity zero, and then if I play it, got nice little fade in effects there. Let's go back and get rid of that. Uh, that's 100% opacity, and you can even change the size. I like to 90%. You can change the positioning. It's you can do quite a lot of effects there. Anyway, back to the example. So I cropped down the image to where I wanted it because you see that's oh, what it because that's what it would look like. So I cropped it down. Take away the border of GVC view. Now I'll take some footage of something. You know, let's hide that track a moment. Now I'll take the footage of something I want to show. So, oh. Simple as that. Well, okay, maybe not horrendously easy, but uh, it's doable to get a decent quality video. Of where I've actually trying to synchronize the two clips up, sometimes I just try to go clap and make a noise and I can synchronize the audio to that noise there of the clap. Helpful trick. Probably easier if I had a clapper board, but uh, hey, <laughs> I'm being a cheapskate here and just using my hands there. It's simple enough. Oh, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.